The 30th Conference of Parties or COP30 is being held in Belém, Brazil from 10th to 21st November 2025. Held in the heart of the Amazon, the summit carries symbolic weight. The Brazilian presidency has framed it as an implementation COP to move beyond pledges towards measurable delivery on climate commitments. With no single headline issue but several complex negotiation tracks, countries are expected to focus on finalizing work under key frameworks from adaptation and loss and damage to just transition, mitigation, finance and carbon markets. Let's head inside the negotiations and find out where we stand on the key issues at COP30. Adaptation and loss and damage. Work on adaptation and loss and damage this year has centered on operationalizing the frameworks agreed at previous COPs. Under the Global Goal on Adaptation or GGA, countries are refining nearly a hundred indicators to track how well the world is improving resilience, including better infrastructure, stronger disaster response, and financial support for vulnerable communities. These indicators are expected to be finalized at COP30 though countries still disagree on how to measure progress. Adaptation finance continues to lag. The Glasgow Climate Pact had promised to double adaptation finance by 2025, but progress has remained slow. The UNEP's Adaptation Gap Report 2025 warns that adaptation finance needs are several times higher than actual delivery. So far, 67 developing countries have prepared their national adaptation plans which outline how they plan to respond to climate risks, with India also expected to submit its plan in 2025. Meanwhile, the Fund for Responding to Loss and Damage, which is the new global fund set up to help countries recover from climate disasters, has finally become operational, but its resources remain far below what's needed. At COP30, countries will try to agree on the adaptation indicators under the GGA, strengthen how funds are managed, and push for higher financial commitments. Developing countries are calling for a tripling of adaptation finance by 2030 compared to 2022 levels. COP30 in Belém will test whether global climate diplomacy can still deliver. Implementation, equity, and finance remain key, and the outcomes will shape how the world moves from pledges and negotiations towards equitable implementation.